Good morning all, Camelback Trading 2724 coming to you this Friday morning, January 3rd. We're looking at the last four days or so of the SPY ETF on the market profile provided by Window Trader. And I said at the end of last year, I would expect 2020 to have some really nice volatility. Well, if these first two days are any indication, you better buckle up, friends. Yesterday, we gapped higher to an all-time high. It went out with a tremendous price probe. And this morning, with just over an hour to go prior to the opening, we're attempting, attempting to gap lower. We have recovered $2.5 from the low, $319.69. I traded as low as. We're trading at $322. So a lot going on this morning. A lot of things on the charts, especially on the weekly and daily that could change, depending on what happens today. So let's go over destinations and a game plan for this morning. So on the upside, with an hour to go prior to the opening, we're going to use yesterday's low on both sides of the equation. So if we gap lower, your first destination on the upside would be yesterday's low of 322. 53. <clears throat> then above that, it would be the nine wide, which again was also a downside destination originally at 323.18. Then we wouldn't have anything to 324. Well, actually, you would have the price, the price probe, 324.03. See so if we can get back into that. And then yesterday's high, all time high of 324.89 and our pre market overnight high of 325.25. For the downside, if we do not gap lower, it will be yesterday's low of 324.52.53. Uh, then it would be filling the gap at 322.13. Then we had the price probe from the 31st at 321.54. And then those single prints of three, I'm sorry, the daily low of 320.15. And then that one single print, and I'll show you that on the profile in a second, at 320.11 from December 19th, which held. And then below that, you should have these, but I'll give them to you quickly. 319.75 daily low, 319.53 daily low, poor low, 319.48 daily low, and 319.17 weekly low. Filling a gap at 318.67, a 50-point gap from December 16th. Now, as we speak, we continue to trade up. 322.15 is last. So it's a very fluid situation. Market's moving all over the place, so a lot could change in the next hour. Earlier, when I first turned on my machine, here's that last single print. Now, again, you can't see it because we're in six tick increments, but that's where it held last time. Okay. We had gotten into the bottom, right? So it was an 11-day balance. We got into these last three days of the balance briefly, but the single print held and came out of it. Well, this morning, if we had gotten into it again, the question would have been, if we accepted into here, then the weekly gap would have come into play. But as of right now, we're rallying pretty, pretty hard. So we're going to have to see what transpires. To give you a game plan this early in the morning, and with it so volatile, it's going to change. Again, <clears throat> gap rules would apply if we're to gap lower. However, because of how volatile I think we're going to have a morning, if we are to fill this gap, if you take a short position, I'd get out right away. Because odds are you're going to at least go up and test the nine wide. If you do gap lower, your first destination would be filling that gap from the 31st and then your price probe. So if you short it, I'd be taking some off at the price probe. Now I'd be taking some off down at the, um, we were never nine wide. Yeah, we were. But anyway, down at the uh, park from the 31st, I'd be taking some off at each destination. But to give you a firm plan, hey, I'm going to short it here. I'm going to buy it here. On a situation like this, I know I say it many times, but it really does make sense. Wait for some market-generated information in A period and possibly going into B. On a day like today, you're going to get many, many opportunities. So don't put your foot in a hole early like I did yesterday and took me six and a half hours to get out of. Okay?
charts right now monthly is still very healthy right for things to change in the monthly we have to take out last month's low of 307.13 so right now very good now here's where things can change less than 24 hours ago I was talking about a possible outside week up well this morning I was going to talk about possible outside week down now we've recovered from that but again it's we still have all day to trade so if we close below 320.90, right, it's only a little over a dollar away. If we close below that, it would be an outside week down. That would be pretty bearish. Now, daily, another thing we have to look at. Our all-time high is on a gap higher. Right now, we're possibly looking to gap lower, right? That'd be an island top. At the all-time high, you'd have an island top. What's that? That's where you leave one day separated from anything else, gap higher, gap lower, little island out in the middle of the ocean all by itself. Now, I'm not saying that's going to hold, but that is something we have to be aware of if we are to gap lower and hold it. As I speak, we're continuing to trade up. So a lot of things are going to be very fluent in the next hour. Things are going to be changing. Have your reference points, have your destinations. Market-generated information is going to be your best friend today. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap the day in the week at 4 p.m.